my channel welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog we're going old school this week with that's it just run through a red light on the salt yellow it's yellow amber um old school type of vlog whereby i'm gonna just be vlogging a little bit over a few days and today is actually a thursday and it's half four in the afternoon but we've had a bit of a last minute decision not for you for me joining you is last minute decision to head on into manchester and we're going to a place called gorilla whereby tom's cousin is performing in like a charity variety not variety show like x factor type thing and he's singing so we're gonna head over a little bit earlier maybe grab a coffee somewhere soak up this sun because it's actually 21 degrees in manchester today i don't know where that's come from and yeah so i thought i would join thomas what did you cook for me today chef tommy tom yum soup tom yum or young yum yum tom yum soup it was so good so hopefully it's going to clear this little sniffle that i've got because it had a bit of a spice to it but the actually it wasn't really that spicy was it chicken stock's the best bit for you. chicken stock jewish penicillin oh well i'm allergic to penicillin it's jewish penicillin we need some more Nespresso capsules and I wouldn't mind another, well not another, a look in the White Company because they have, it's on King Street, so we can maybe find a coffee shop around there somewhere. They have a new autumn scent in and a couple of new winter ones, I think it's called something pine or forest or fireside, fireside. So yeah. That is our plan this afternoon, a very chilled, different, fun little adventure. Look at that, windows down. Yeah. I'm going to get my mine down as well now. So we'll see you when we get to Manchester. Just discovered this whole new area, what's it even called? It's not really got a name, I don't think. It's just like a new, it's like a new office district. It's like yeah, auto, auto it's like a new office. business I've been in for all the trader. So it's, it's even got like a cinema, loads of bars and everything, offices. I've no idea where we are, but anyway. I suppose it's near Dean's Gate Lock. It's just off Dean's Gate. Yeah, which is where we're going tonight for the event. So first stop is White Company. Yeah, and espresso. Surely not. Yeah, look, they've got these bollards up in these little walkway entrances. That is definitely for, oh gosh, Christmas markets. I do quite like Manchester Christmas markets, so I have to come back this year. And Edinburgh. Should we do Edinburgh again? Absolutely gutted. I wonder when it closed as well. 5.30. What time is it? Oh no. What a shame. Come back another I'm back in Manchester on Tuesday, so I might vlog it then. Oops. I might just order online and send back if I don't like it, if you can do that. I don't know if you can. Espresso. What are you looking at? <laughs> I realise they did biscuits. Chocolate's made for me. We bought our capsules, stocked up. This bag is full. And we've come to get some food at the food court, but it looks like it's packing up. In his element. Loves it. This is our little setup. Tom's got his pitta and chips and I've got mine in here. And we're just sat outside Arndale, Selfridges. And although the sun's gone in, it's actually still quite warm, isn't it? 21 degrees, I think it says. So we're just gonna have our food, have a nibble. Something bizarre happened featuring that scooter. <laughs> and Tom said, but I think this all the time. Do you ever feel like if something bizarre is happening, you feel like there must be cameras hidden somewhere and you're on a secret hidden camera show and you're being watched? What is going on? Anyway, just thought I'd uh, mention that because that made me laugh. Because I always think that. I always think, oh my God, there must be cameras somewhere if I see something weird. 
Oh look, they're on Uber Eats. Come to Archie's to maybe get something sweet. I think we're gonna go for the waffles. Uh, peanut Teller, peanut Reese. butter slash banana and Nutella. I'd rather Reese's Pieces. Where's that? Reese's Pieces Nutella. That was a fail because the waffle machine has been switched off. So I, I know they're still serving food just not waffles which was weird but anyway we're gonna head to the event now and if en route we see something sweet then we'll get it Manchester I have a meeting and it's also with Lydia so I'm gonna meet her we were gonna shoot a couple of outfits but it's forecast rain and it's currently raining now it's forecast rain all day all week pretty much just broken a nail very annoying Um, I've gone with a darker lip today autumnal vibes let me show you what I'm wearing I got this from fragrance direct recently it's the Huda Beauty lipstick lip liner rather in Spice Girl and then the lip liquid matte in Venus. So that is what I'm wearing on my lips. I've got my new iPhone delivery. Very exciting, I went for a gold one this time. Um, I'm actually just gonna set up an audiobook. I'm listening to 1963 at the minute. So that's what it's called and it's book club this week and I still have six hours to listen to on Audible so I need to catch up um, or else I don't think I'm going to finish it in time for Wednesday which is tomorrow. <laughs> hmm, I think it's full, it's not letting me in. We're attempting to shoot in this weather. <laughs> we just thought that was a real person in the window, how funny. We're like, who's that guy looking at us? Ah. Anyway, he's not real. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually going to meet with Lancome, which I'm excited for. That's why I thought I would experiment a little bit with a different lip color mating a beauty brand. I was that close to you then, I thought I was gonna kiss you. <laughs> Chose to bring tour around. Yes. A new audience for us. Okay. Whilst Livia Bell slightly is more for people don't like it when you change um, formulas. So but we also sell a 20 now. Yeah, it's really nice. It just feels nice and yeah. light. Yeah, very mm. light. Very much super light. Super hydrated. Yeah, I love that. Light, I, yeah, because I'm not a fan of anything too stiff. No, agreed, agreed. I have three limited edition shades which will be in this exclusive coloured packaging. So these aren't out till when? So these are out end of October, so I think end of October. Wednesday it will either be the 30th or the 31st. Right, okay. Look at this, welcome to Manchester. Ugh. I'm not having much luck in this rain. We've come to Foundation Coffee House. Always go for a diet coach. Okay? Lydia lurking in the background, there she is. Look at this giant river I had to get in the car from that. Safe to say, my feet are soaked. Manchester has well and truly 
live up to its name and expectation with the rain today. Let's head home. In fact, let's just show you what I've got whilst we're in the car. Why not change the scenery from showing you in my bedroom? So Lancome very kindly um, had us for a coffee and introduced us to, to, to some new products or to some like well-loved products. And they're also sending me their Christmas advent calendar, which I'm so excited for. Um, I already have had two deliveries. In fact, I'll show you them when I get home of advent calendars. But this is the... Tant Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. I used to use this all the time and I got it in shade 26. I don't know. We'll see how I go with that shade. And then I also got a Absolute Rouge in Ruby Cream, Ruby Queen, sorry, lipstick. Look at the packaging. You pop it out like so. And then, oh yes, it's the colour that I liked the most. Like a real deep, Christmassy, vampy red. Love that. And then this is one of their well-loved products. This is the Advance Genifique Serum. And then they also sent us, or sent us, gave us the new perfume. I used to love La Vie Belle. So this is another new one to add to the collection. It is all sealed up, so I'm just going to keep it like so. Um, and who knows, maybe gift it to someone at Christmas because I have too many perfumes, I'm not going to lie. And I do love it, but it's quite feminine and quite light, which you guys know I like the real musky, rich, deep, earthy, toned, masculine. I mean, me and Tom share every single perfume slash aftershave I own. So that goes to show how much I like a masculine scent. And that one is quite light and feminine. So it's nice. It's got the rose in there, which is iconic for Lancome. For now, let's head on home. I'm going to put my audio book back on. And just like that, I'm back home. I've edited and uploaded a video in this afternoon slash evening. It's a bit later on. I mean, it feels later than what it actually is because it's quite dark outside. It's been raining all day, feeling very autumnal. Tom's on his way home, so we're gonna have dinner in a bit. But I thought I would just show you what I mentioned earlier in terms of deliveries. Oh my gosh, how exciting is this? So I have two not one but two advent calendars this one from look fantastic i'm not sure if we're allowed to actually show you what's inside them yet but i do actually kind of want to save it till christmas oh my god look this is a 25 day one as well i really shouldn't be opening it but i can't help myself oh, oh i can't do it i can't do it well i mean i could but no I want to save it and then this one from glossy box these are all some bits i've got some fragrance direct as well oh my gosh i'm so lucky guys but let me show you this bad boy oh tis the season to be glossy it actually says it's but i changed that around to tis the season and then this has loads of individually wrapped parcels and packages and boxes <gasps> Oh, God. oh, there's a 25 under there as well. Ah, I love it when an advent calendar has 25 days. Like a collab with Bare Minerals, which is amazing. I love Bare Minerals. And as you can see, you have your standard little booklet with the information about what is inside, which I can't open. There we go. They are all the products inside. So let's open it up. I do still think my code works. If you did want discount off your Glossy Box subscription, it's Freya30. So if you try that, you should be able to get 30% off your first box, which gets it for like seven quid or something. In fact, I don't actually know if this is a Glossy Box. I think this might just be a limited edition in addition to the September box. Prime Time Foundation Primer. Vital Power Infusion. I think it's like a serum. That should be interesting to try a little mini bronzer, a highlighter, oh my god that's quite a generous sized highlighter in the shade free in like a little glass bottle, cute. And then lastly as part of this package we have a little mascara, this is mega volume Lash Topia mascara. We have just some bits here which I have actually already shown on my Instagram story so I'm not going to go into too much depth about these. But if you don't know, Fragrance Direct sell two of my absolutely favorite brands, Rituals, which I believe is made in the same factory as Tom Ford. So they're fragrances like this one, Nuit and Marrakesh. 
smells like as good as Tom Ford, but it's um, not a fraction of the price. I'd say it's like a mid-range price point. And then another brand I love that they stock is Molten Brown. We also got a village candle in winter clementine yum that sounds amazing oh my god i mean very citrusy orangey scent but oh delicious so i need to put all of these items away i don't know where i'm going to put these advent calendars for the next three months september october november two months whilst i wait for tom to get home i am actually browsing zara <gasps> new home Oh my god, I'm definitely going to get some bits from the Zara home section. I had no idea they stopped the home bits on their website. <gasps> okay, time to get shopping. This is a nice incentive. I did mention it on my Instagram stories, but if you missed it, Salvation Army, we have a charity shop in our local town. If you buy this reusable 99p bag, then you take... Um, I bet this bag full of donations into store they give you two pound store credit so you can take as many you know you can go back and forwards get a card and get it stamped and save it up to like 10 pounds go in store and then spend it so i actually have a few bits in there already which i'm going to be taking to the shop to donate but i probably have a couple of bits uh more that i could put in there before i do take it but yeah i thought i would share that for any fellow thrifters out there um i just got a call from tom i need to nip out and get a couple of bits for our dinner tonight so whilst i was out i had a couple of parcels that i missed so i thought i'd pick them up from the post office this is from the hut group and they have sent me some bits from my vitamins a beauty hot chocolate nice three sets so they have recommended for me catwalk Queen, multivitamin, beauty sleep, 60 capsules in each one, these, and collagen. Studio team, that's the branding, have sent me some Adidas trainers. Oh, oh I love them. White and black, very simple, a bit like the sneaker style that I'm actually wearing today from Nasty Gal, but obviously with the three stripes on. Thank you so much to Studio for sending me these. Right, now I've got my bag at the ready. Lidl is just over there, but it's a bit of a drive away. It's not really a drive away. It could definitely be walking distance, but the rain says otherwise. Well, they have these Monstera plants, cheese plants, in these little baskets for £10. That's pretty reasonable. The best part to Lidl is this bakery section. Oh my god, it smells amazing as soon as you walk in. That's all I can smell. Okay, I'm not here for bakeries. Bakeries, pastries. What are you putting your shoes on for? I want to see if I buy this stuff that you need. That I need? You didn't buy it, did you? Tahini, oh, didn't ask. Do you? Mm. Let's just excuse these socks. Okay. I've had a hot time. <laughs> I've had a few compliments on this skirt today. Who okay. wanted to buy it? It's very autumnal, isn't it? What do you think of my lip colour? Morticia, you said it was nice when you came you in. Oh, but the lip colour's not to your liking. It's alright, you're good. He's gone. <laughs> I'm gonna get my comfies on, get all this makeup off, have some nice dinner, which that's what he's run out for. I've bought the ingredients for hummus, but we've forgotten tahini and we googled tahini because we didn't even know what it was so i just said look just buy some hummus it doesn't matter we did however make quite a lot of food over the last over the weekend it was really just so that we're prepped and ready for this week so we can cook a little more oh no this is leaked has it no so this is the mince meat that we made i think we're halving it and having meatballs one night with probably like pasta and salad. And tonight we are using the other half for koftas, making them. And we're having it with hummus. We were gonna make flatbread, but again, you need to like leave it overnight and everything. So plain old pit as it is. Ooh. And um, this is for satsiki. We're gonna make a satsiki dip. Whilst it comes out, I'm going to sneakily dive into my treat bowl and I think I'm going to have a Reese's cup. But shh, don't tell it. Oh, this is like the MS one where they've got the 
chickpeas and olive oil on top. Mm. Yum! So what are the onions in the peppers for? Just for a bit of veg. They are our coffers. Hair is up. Lion King jumper, which Tom laughs at me for, is on. I said, guess what's on tonight? No, Peaky's was on Sunday night, which we need to catch up on. Tonight is Capture. Is it? Yeah. I would recommend watching that if you haven't already. Right, so what's in this tzatziki? Yogurt, Greek yogurt. So extra virgin olive oil goes in there. Extra virgin olive oil, apparently. Is that it? Just cucumber, yogurt and olive oil? Also, aren't you meant to shred it rather than cut it into cubes? Yeah, fucking hell. You can easily Don't swear on the vlog. Sorry, bloody hell. Bloody hell is still a swear word. Nice, yeah, it is. Mix it up. Baby, if you give it to me, I'll give it to you. You know what you want? Oh, free, free. <laughs> if you give it to me. Does any, anyone else's boyfriend put their name in the songs? Or do you reckon that's just a you thing? As long as your name is E at the end, Freyy or Freya, Ellie, Stacy, Stacy, if you give it to me. Oh, look at that one. We've been robbed. I need to take my makeup off it's there. Yeah, that's sharpish. Do you want it? Do you want it in the pitta? How do I want it? Um, no, I like to, no, it's not like the pitta. Anyway, I'll just leave that. So you can dip. Baby, if you give it to me, I'll give it to you. Oh my god. Cut. Oh my god. Try it then. Oh, that hummus is good. Delicious. That hummus as well is really good. It's worth it. It's worth it, but the koftas are beautiful. Just doing some internet shopping whilst Tommy is... What are you doing? I'll get maybe a new computer. Are you getting a new computer? Second hand? No, they've got a 20% sale on eBay, so I'm seeing if any of the new ones have got it up or not. Right, this is what we're about to watch, a Great British Bake Off. And then at 9 o'clock, we're going to watch The Capture. Yay. I'm going to get back to my internet shopping. Hello, it is Thursday today. And I'm just about to head to the hairdressers. I'm so embarrassed because it really needs a wash, but oh well. Um, I actually have asked you guys on Instagram. In fact, let me go get my phone and see where we're at with that. Mm, so I've asked you guys on Instagram how you think I should do my hair. And, oh, this was at book club last night. How cute, little Alfie. Um, right, so, my God, I'm out of breath from just running up them stairs. <laughs> Majority have said I should go lighter. Oh dear, 50-50. I think I'm gonna have a trim, a healthy trim, but I wouldn't go short, short. So I'm glad that it's like 50-50 I can choose. Uh, that's so unlikely. 470 votes on each. That's how many people have voted on each 50-50. Amazing, I've never had that. So 50-50. Fringe or no fringe, that seemed to be a resounding no fringe, which I'm actually quite happy with because it was really hard to manage. Layers versus blunt. I thought that would be more 50-50, but in fact, most people have said blunt, which again, I'm happy with and was probably what I was gonna do anyway. So that is what I'm gonna ask for. I'm just gonna oh, brush it out now because 
it's always a bit awkward when it's very knotty in the hairdressers and they have to like brush it without hurting me but I'm like just go for it. I'm so excited to just have a nice coffee. I've got some work to do but my video is currently uploading so I can't stop it. You know for the internet I was planning on taking my laptop and do editing a video but I'm not going to be able to because it's only halfway done for uploading. This is my before. I need to come quite far out now because it's got so long. This is it before, <sighs> quite a bit darker at the roots, so I'm excited to get all that topped up. And this is the length of it, too long. Look, it's below my pockets on my jeans. I want it more just below the boobs, so I think I'm gonna have about that much cut off, which seems like a big chunk for most people, but actually for me, that grows out pretty quickly, so. Yay, let's go to the hairdressers. New hair. I've just got back home and obviously the first thing I've done is thrown on my comfies. Does anyone else do that? Literally, I don't get people that can chill out in jeans. Tom is one of those kind of people. He'll just come in, work like shirt on or trousers or jeans and just shoes on as well and just lie on the sofa as soon as he walks in to chill. Whereas me, I'm like walk through the door, get into my comfies, usually hair up, makeup off. And then I can chill. And then it frustrates me that he doesn't like get into comfies. I'm like, I can't cuddle you when you're in your jeans. Go get comfy. And he's like, I'll go in a minute. I'll go in a minute. I pester him until he gets changed or like gets comfy. And then I'm like, ah, oh, see? Now we can relax. I've just seen a big spider drop down, but it is outside. Oh, is it spider season or what? Because I feel like I keep spotting quite a lot of spiders. Anyway, what do you think of my new hair? I didn't have it styled because I'm going out on Saturday night in Manchester. I'll probably vlog that for next week's vlog. Quite a lot of highlights put in. Quite a lot cut off. The ends are blunt. Look at that. I love a blunt haircut. So much healthier and so much better condition. I'll see you guys next Sunday, but... Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with my weekly vlogs and also my midweek uploads. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys, hopefully, next time. Bye, guys.